Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about the special device, the 10 gigabit network switch. And this name can sound very interesting because 10 gigabit, we never hear this bandwidth that often. And 10 gigabit is like uh, 10,000 megabits per second. And that is quite the amount, quite the bandwidth. This bandwidth can support, you can think, thousands and thousands of access to a device simultaneously. Our 10 gigabyte network switch is right here. And if you take a close look at this, you can see there are 24 ports right here. And these ports are not like regular switch Ethernet ports. These are made to insert small fact form factor pluggables. So it means these are for transmitting opti fiber optic signals. So once we connect fiber optic cables here, it will support the high speed transmission and you know, for its high speed fiber optic transmission. And you can see there are four ports right here that are slightly different. These are even more faster. These can go up to 10 gigabits per second. Then these use quite different form, uh, small form factor pluggable modules as well. You can take a close look right here. These are, this one right here is a regular SFP module. And this one right here is a high speed SFP module. You can see that it is slightly bigger, slightly different than the regular one. And the regular one, we can plug it in here. But if we plug it in the 10 gigabit high speed port, it can go in, but it will not be reading because the software is totally different. So right now, this is a basic understanding of how our 10 gigabit network switch is. So 10 gigabit network switch, by its name we know it provides the bandwidth of 10 gigabits per second. And this bandwidth is not commonly used in our daily life basis because it can support so much things. We can see it in like stadiums or amusement parks where we will receive a high level of population and sometimes when there are a lot of people in the parks and they connect to our network, we'll need a big bandwidth to support that much data being transmitted. And if we use like regular uh, 1000 megabits per second devices, it may be able to uh, support it sometimes, but it's like walking on thin ice. Whenever there's too much people connecting at the network at the same time, it might cause the network traffic because you know we have our own IP system connected to the network. And then there comes a lot of outside users connecting to it and you know, it's only a thousand megabits per second. That might not be enough. So 10 gigabits, 10 gigabits net, uh, bandwidth will help us, you know, wave out this worry in our solution. So what is 10 gigabits most commonly used for? You can think of setting up a sub network in maybe a few kilometers, a few miles away, because 10 gigabits is a really wide uh, bandwidth. We can use it to set up like one of these. All of these are a 24 port Ethernet cable switch. We can set this out like in another building across maybe like say a thousand meters away. Ethernet cables cannot do something like that. So we use fiber optic cables. And since this is like one of those main network central where all the data from that building will gather here, we can use it, use the 10 gigabit bandwidth to upload all the data back to our main network right here. So the only same thing to these two huge switch devices is are these four ports. They all support up to 10 gigabits per second. So we can connect these two together. So this will provide the data for this and the 10 gigabit bandwidth is enough for this to process all the data and send it back. And also these four 10 gigabit ports have some very special and interesting applications. We can use the software in these devices and kind of customize them. There are two things that are very interesting. The first one is we can use all four and then we customize it through the software, allowing these four to create a very same tunnel. The tunnel is the sum of all four ports, which is a 40 gigabits per second bandwidth. 
with that, it's like even bigger bandwidth. The more the better, so you never complain to get too much. And then we can also use the other ports as a failsafe. Uh, imagine you have a line, only one main network connected, using one line that would be 10 gigabits per second, and you set up a second line. The second line is also 10 gigabits per second, but it doesn't you know, function all the time. It only comes out when the first line is compromised, say a virus attack or something is compromising the fiber optic cable structure. Then the second fiber optic cable will take place and cover all the work it, the first one is doing so our network system doesn't go down. It's pretty convenient. Now let me show you guys how to connect one of these, you know, special SFP modules. These are SFP module plus, and it is kind of slightly different than, you know, using a regular SFP module. I'll show you guys how to connect it to these two big switching machines. But first, we have to know that these have a duplex connection. So these are mostly designed for duplex fiber optic cables, which we have right here. You can think of this as two channels right here, you know, channel A and channel B. And since mostly we need to connect these point to point, so point A goes to point A right here, they have to stand up like for a thorough tunnel. So then we will understand the bottom port has to point connect with the bottom port here. In the bottom port here, the top port here will connect with the top port here. So when A goes to the bottom port, it has to go to this corresponding port. Well, when we see it like this, they'll kind of form a X cross where the two lines have to cross each other when they're connecting. So it's kind of hard to understand, but you'll get a hang of this when you lay it down like this. You'll kind of understand the concept more. So now right here, we have two SFP plus modules, which are specially designed for 10 gigabit bandwidth. So 10 gigabit bandwidth will support us, you know, for the massive band, massive data transmission. And you can see right here, this has two ports. So this has two insert ports. So this is usually often used on duplex fiber optic cables. And I have one right here. So when a duplex fiber optic cable connects, it is kind of tricky. We have a thorough connection is the bottom line together and the top line together, right? In one thorough tunnel. That's what makes them thorough, the data goes through. So when we connect the bottom of A, the corresponding port has to connect with A as well. We want to crisscross. So when we follow my finger and the bottom A's, when we're connecting them on the same surface image, it looks like they're on two different ports. It's going to be okay because we're going to insert them in the way of this. So then they will be the same actually. It might be a little confusing, but let me allow me to operate and demonstrate for you so you'll make it easier for you to understand. So right now, in my hand, I have cable A right here on this fiber optic cable and I'm gonna insert it to the bottom right here. So in order for this connection to be thorough, the bottom right here has to be A as well. So allow me now to take A on this end of the cable. You can see this is A as well. And the bottom side over here, So this should allow the connection to go through. And when we look at it this way, you can see it is on opposite sides. Don't make it too hard to understand. It's just actually an easy idea. So now we've got the A's in place. Let's connect the B's. And once that, this duplex fiber optic cable is connected. All we have to do is now insert the SFP plus modules inside the SFP ports right here. And one, done. Let's go to the other end. Imagine this is thousand meters away. And the SFP module plus goes into here. Easy insert. So 
Ta-da, just like that. This whole connection is set up and you'll get high speed internet connection. Is it that easy? Well, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you have any more questions about this, you can leave them in the section below. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.